It is obvious that we are in times of extraordinary concern for the world. Thus, it is necessary, if it is what we want, to deeply reflect on them at this present moment in which we live. The quest for alien intelligence has been ongoing for almost 70 years by astronomers screening for radio or optical signals. The vast majority of scientists believe that at least some of the Milky Way galaxy's 300 million potentially livable planets are home to life. As for the possibility of intelligent and technologically advanced life forms, astronomers believe there is a reasonable likelihood. So NASA decided to put up an independent team to find out how much information regarding unidentified aerial phenomena was accessible to the public. They still don't believe it's a spaceship from another planet. Whether extraterrestrial UFOs exist or not, we'll cover a variety of fascinating things about them in today's video. But before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our recent videos. Without further delay, let's get started. A top official at the space agency said on Thursday that NASA would participate in the search for unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, organizing a team that will investigate observations of activities that cannot be classified as aircraft or known natural phenomena. Thomas Zerbuchen, the head of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, stated in a speech before the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine that the space agency would bring a scientific perspective to efforts already underway by the Pentagon and intelligence agencies to make sense of dozens of such sightings. Even though it's considered to be a contentious area of research, he believes that the space agency should not shy away from doing research that is high risk and high impact. The announcement comes just a few weeks after a rare and historic hearing on sightings of what the Defense Department refers to as unidentified aerial phenomena, more commonly known as UFOs, and a report issued last year by the Director of National Intelligence that cataloged more than 140 flying objects that officials were not able to identify. However, both the nine-page report and the congressional hearing were light on information and did not arrive in any conclusions about the nature of the flying objects, several of which were seen by Navy aviators. According to the officials, they did not discover any proof that the items were any kind of sophisticated aerospace technology created by China, Russia, or any other countries. In addition, there was no evidence to support the theory that they originated from alien origins. According to a statement released by NASA, to draw scientific conclusions about the nature of such occurrences is challenging since there have been so few observations of this kind. The agency said that it was worried not just about issues about national security, but also about issues about the safety of flying. In addition to this, it said that there is no indication UAPs are of extraterrestrial origin. Despite this, NASA has said that it's interested in applying the rigors of science to a perplexing problem that has been an obsession for many years. The agency has said that the investigation of UAPs is compatible with its objective to search for indications of life beyond Earth. This includes anything from the investigation of water on Mars to the exploration of the moons of Saturn and Jupiter. Zerbuchen stated in a statement that NASA thinks that the instruments of scientific discovery are strong and apply here likewise. We have the instruments at our disposal, as well as the team of people that can assist us in gaining a deeper comprehension of the unknown. To put it another way, it is the essence of what science is. That's the kind of work we do. After delivering his speech, Sir Buchan had a press conference in which he said that he intended to encourage NASA to undertake high-risk missions, even if the scientific community does not generally accept this kind of endeavor. He said, It's clear that in a traditional type of scientific environment, talking about some of these issues may be considered a kind of selling out or kind of talking about things that are not science. I simply want to state that I strongly disagree with it. I am a firm belief that the value of science may be gauged not only by findings that are produced as a result of it, but also by the problems that we are prepared to solve using scientific methods. David Spurgle, currently the president of the Simons Foundation in New York City, 
Kennedy, and formerly the Chair of Astrophysics Department at Princeton University, and Daniel Evans, currently the Assistant Deputy Associate Administrator for Research at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, will be in charge of leading NASA's effort. Both men have extensive experience in the field. According to NASA, the investigation will start in the fall, last for around nine months, and cost no more than $100,000. Zerbukin said that it would operate independently from the measures being undertaken by the Pentagon. Although national security and counterintelligence are not our primary areas of expertise, there is a possibility that these areas might be affected, and that's not something we're going to discuss at NASA. Zerbukin said. However, the organization does research the atmosphere and aeronautics, as was said by him, and there is a fear that the airspace is becoming more congested with many various sorts of air vehicles. Spurgle has said there is not a workable theory that can be used to explain the UAPs before the research is conducted. He added, I would say the only preconceived thought I have going into this is that you should be open to the idea that we're looking at several different occurrences. There is a broad spectrum of possible explanations for these occurrences. He continued by saying, this is a phenomenon that we do not comprehend, and we would want to gather additional information about the phenomenon. According to the findings of a study that was just made public by the Director of National Intelligence, several unidentified flying objects seem to stay stationary in winds aloft, move against the wind, maneuver suddenly, and move at significant speed without obvious sources of propulsion. In a few instances, military aircraft systems evaluated radio frequency or RF radiation related with unidentified aircraft occurrences, or UAP sightings. Last month, Ronald S. Moultrie, the Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security, testified before a House Intelligence Committee on counterterrorism, counterintelligence, and counterproliferation. In his assertion, he stated that the Pentagon is collecting eyewitness accounts of mysterious flying objects that appear to defy the laws of physics. He told the panel that included members from both parties, We know that our service members have experienced strange aerial occurrences. We are dedicated to attempting to learn more about their background. In an interview that took place the previous year with the Washington Post, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said that he had access to the confidential UAP study while he was still sitting in the Senate. He then went on to say, The hair on the back of my neck rose up. Well, that's all for today, guys. What would be your reaction if you hear that there's an extraterrestrial UFO out there? Well, let us know what your reaction would be about that in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.